Welcome to MAT 2LB booklet number two, Estimating and Making Change, lesson number three, More Estimating Sums and Differences. This really is an extension of lesson number two. We're just going to deal with some more complex versions of sums and differences. So let's jump right in. Example number one, estimate the sum and difference of uh, each series of numbers. Let's begin with the first one here. The leftmost digit is a five. The number after it is a six. That tells us that we are going to round the five up to a six. The number underneath it, leftmost number is a two. The number to the right of it or after it is a zero, which tells us we're going to round down or keep two the same. The last number in the list is a one. We're going to round to that one. There's our five. It tells us that we are going to round up. So we're going to round the 1 to a 2. At this point, we perform the operation, addition. 6 plus 2 is 8, plus another 2 is 10. So at this point, let's pause. Let's get you guys to try B. When you've got it, come on back. Let's see how you did. OK, you've rounded and come up with the sum for B. Let's do that now. 3 followed by a 3. We don't round it up, we keep it the same. So there's our three. There's a six. A five after it tells us that we are going to indeed round up. There's our seven. And last but not least, there's an eight. The number after it is a nine, which tells us that we are going to round that up to a nine. And this is a sum, so we're going to add these three numbers. Three and seven is 10, and another nine is 19. Let's take a look at the differences. Same idea, start with rounding, 6 followed by a 7. 7 tells us that we're going to round that up to a 7. The number underneath it, there's our 3. The number after it is a 5, which tells us that we are going to round that 3 up to a 4. And we perform the math that we want, or the math we've been asked to do, 7 minus 4 gives us a 3. Let's let you guys try B on your uh, D rather on your own. When you think you've got an answer, unpause the video and take a crack at it. But for now, hit pause. We'll see how you did. All right, you're back. Let's have a look. We've got eight. We're gonna round to the eight. The number after it is a one, which tells us that we are going to keep that eight exactly the same. Three underneath it, followed by a two. The two tells us we're gonna keep that three exactly the same. Now some subtraction, 8 minus 3 gives us 5. So there are some more advanced sums and differences. Hopefully um, this was a, a small enough step that you were able to handle that without much difficulty. The next step is going to be more of an application, a little bit of a setup before we do the rounding and then sums and differences. We're going to start with a list of things you might take to a picnic, which I will circle right here or highlight around the box. Here's the list. We've got two folks, Carlos and Cynthia, who are going to be going to this picnic. We want to do an estimate of each person's cost to bring some of a list of food to the picnic. So it starts with Carlos. We'll do Carlos together, and then we'll see how you guys do with Cynthia on your own. So we are going to, first things first, we're going to find the items on Carlos's list. So we have apples at one dollar and fifty cents let's get that down One fifty. we have an egg sandwich at a total of one dollar eighty five we have lemon oh there's lemonade one dollar thirty seven and last but not least good old butter tarts there's the butter tarts two dollars and thirty two cents at this point, oh, that's pretty messy. Let's let's redo that one. Well, I'll redo that one. Maybe yours is neater than mine. One dollar and fifty. At this point, we're going to round all four of these items for the purposes of completing, in this case, a sum. So we are going to go to the leftmost number, and we are going to round these. So at this point, hit pause and round all four of these um, dollar values for the purposes of creating a sum. When you're done, unpause. Come on back. We'll see how you did. Okay, you're back. Let's start with the rounding. $1.50, so we're being asked to round to the 1. We look to the 5. It tells us that we are going to round up to 2. $1.85, again, we're being asked to round the 1. The 8 after it tells us we're going to round that up to 2 again. 
$1.37. We're being asked to round to the 1 again. The 3, however, this time we're going to be rounding down, which means keeping it the same. Then we are going to go $2.32. Rounding to the 2, the 3 tells us that we are going to be rounding down or keeping it the same. So there we have our four rounded numbers. At this point, we are being asked to do a sum. So we add these up, two, four, five, six, seven. So the estimated total, approximately $7. And that's for Carlos. So let's try Cynthia. Again, just to review the steps quickly before we uh, release you to give this a try, we're going to find the numbers, uh, the cost for each of the items on Cynthia's list, copy them into our table. Let's do that our first step, okay? So we'll copy the items in for Cynthia. When you're done that, um, unpause and we'll keep going from there. So let's start by getting those items in. Okay, you've done Cynthia's table. Let's find those values really quickly here together. Uh, let's do a purple, I guess, this time. So we've got cheese. There's cheese at $1.46. Dollar forty six. We've got crackers for a dollar sixty three. A ham sandwich for two dollars and ten cents. We've got milk, which is one nineteen. We have pickles, of course, one eighty nine. And that's it. Nobody brought tomatoes. Oh well. Next thing I'd like you to do, hit pause, round all five of these values for the purposes of completing this sum. So hit pause. We'll see you did when you come back. All right. Let's see how we did on our rounding. $1.46. We're going to round that to $1. The four does not round us up. $1.63. This time we will be rounding up from the six. It takes us to $2. $2.10, we're being asked to round to the 2. The 1 does not round us up, so we stay at 2. $1.19. $1 is our rounded value, and $1.89. That will be rounded to 2. The 8 rounds that 1 up to a 2. Hopefully, you're all good so far. Now we're being asked to complete the sum, so let's add these up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have approximately eight dollars for Cynthia. That takes us to the end of lesson number three. So what I'd like you to do now, look back over the lesson if you're feeling unsure, if you're feeling good about this, head off and complete worksheet number three. Worksheet number four, which you'll complete after that, doesn't have a lesson. So when you're done worksheet number three, you'll be moving directly to worksheet number four. So I won't see you for lesson number four since it doesn't exist, but I will see you again for lesson number five.